Greetings all, Fu here. This is part 12 of the Republic Commando build thread. This is going to be a secondary part list. Initially we talked about stuff for the construction. Now we're to a point where you're going to need to do a little more shopping. These are some of the items that you're going to need to do if you're going to build it this way. Of course, more DEVCON. You can never have enough DEVCON. Secondary, very important, rare earth magnets. I like to use the one inch, you can use three quarter or 19 millimeter. But this is a pack of six rare earth magnets. If you've never worked with these before, they are extremely strong. Uh, they'll pull through multiple sheets of plastic, which is what we're looking for. Uh, you just have to be careful because they are fragile. Uh, if you don't have good control over them and they slam together, they will shatter and cause a huge mess. Also, uh, be careful with your fingers. These, these will uh, bruise you up pretty good when you get slammed in between them. This is a pack of six. Uh, the way I'm going to be building, you'll need eight magnets. We'll use... Uh, two for each knee and you're also going to need some in the backpack. I use four in the backpack to hold it to the back plate. Uh, I may bump that up to eight depending on how we get there. A rare earth magnets, a, a six pack, ran me fourteen dollars and I got them at a woodworking store. A lot of time they're in the craft section. You can also order them online. Okay, you're going to need a, a strip of leather. I just went to Hobby Lobby and got real leather craft lace. Suede strip. This is inch and a half strip uh, cost me four bucks and this is plenty for what you're going to need. I use the leather as a hinge for the knees. I like to do the floating patella so it's game accurate. Uh, the inch and a half gives you enough room for the way we're going to use the magnets to attach the knees. And I got it in black because I'm doing a, an Omega Squad. But you can get it in whatever color you need. Go with the suede so it's got you know a little, little thickness to it or if you've got some leather laying around. That'll work. The nice thing about the, the thin suede, you don't have to score it a whole lot for where it's going to bend. And the next thing that's really going to be important is industrial strength Velcro. Uh, if you buy the whole box, you won't use all of it. You'll find lots of uses for it along the way. Um, but get the actual Velcro brand. Don't go cheap. Uh, this stuff will hold dead bodies on walls if you put it on appropriately. Not that I do a lot of dead bodies on walls, but it's not like a good comparison. Uh, it'll come in the the hook and the loop rolled up together and you'll use this on the shins for sure you'll use it on the sides of the uh, the hips and butt you can kind of see I'm, I'm just kind of figuring out how things are going to fit here but you're going to use it to hold your your abs to your butt plate you're going to use it for the front of the shins and depending on how you do your chest you may use it for your chest as well so if you've got a couple of guys in your squad that are working on it, go ahead and, and just grab the whole roll. I think it's about $40 for a full box of it. You can get it at most fabric stores. Um, the Again, I use the black because I'm doing a mega. You can get it in white. Uh, if you're doing a sev or something else where the Velcro you think it might show, it paints really well. And uh, that shouldn't be an issue. So that's your next bit of shopping you're going to need to do. And the reason I'm stressing the Velcro right now you can't do, figure out your chest measurement until you figure out your cod piece and butt plate. How those are going to go together is going to dictate the thickness of how you put your chest closure together. I like to do a seamless chest, but to be able to mark it and get a good fit on it, you got to have those sections. So go out and get your Velcro at a minimum. That will get you started. And then get your leather, your magnets, and your glue for the uh, knees and other hinge pieces. We'll see you in part 13 for torso.